Welcome to Come Out Uncut. We're here at the uh, Screenplay Film Festival in Shetland, joined by Jason Singh. Jason, you are doing an extraordinary thing up here, which is that you are providing live sound accompaniment to a, a film which dates back to the time of Battleship Potemkin. Tell me about it. The film's called Drifters. It was made in 1929, and it basically shows the journey of Eric Fisherman off the east coast of Scotland. And what I'm doing is basically providing a vocal beatboxed live score. And it's an exciting film, and for me, it's it's just an amazing opportunity to be able to kind of bring together lots of stuff around the voice that I do separately, but then do it together with technology and all sorts of voice manipulation and live sampling of the voice to mimic what's being presented in this beautiful film about Henry Fisher. To give me a sense of what you're doing, is it possible to show me some of what you're doing with your kind of with your your vocal work? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a range of different things. It's all like repetitive cycles of things like. things like that which then put together um, and then creating big what sort of huge kind of patterns and textures of, of sound and are you doing it to a plan that you know with film and do you know the film off by heart I mean for example I play in a band who accompany silent films and there's a good deal of making it up as you go along yeah. in what we do how about with what you do it's exactly the same really the film the film itself um, changes whenever I do it the performance is never really the same twice because the space the audience my mood um, all of that kind of plays a part the performance is fresh all the time and how did you end up doing this I mean there's a huge resurgence at the moment in live film music but how did you end up doing this to be honest with you from well from birth really I've I've always I've always seen a relationship with with visuals and sound and in my world my inner world the the, the sonic world is a very visual world um, and I always wanted to do something with film, with animation or live visuals. Then BFI actually said that we're looking at re-releasing Drifters with the original film Battleship Potemkin. Yeah. And when I saw that, I, I knew nothing about John Grayson. But when I saw the film, I just fell in love with it. I was just, you know, what was it about the film that captured you? I love 2001 Space Odyssey. Mm -hmm. That's my kind of all-time favourite film. And there was a lot of similarities with Drifters. And for me, it feels like a sci-fi film. It feels like this vessel that's in the middle of this vast sea, you know, this vast space. I just fell in love with that, you know, just the thing that there's, there's these people on this vessel in the middle of nowhere, you know, doing their daily routines and their lives, and just blew me away, and I was just... I mean, one of the other comparisons, of course, is that 2001 is a film which, for huge sections of it, is basically a silent movie. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's no right. dialogue for the first half an Absolutely, hour or so. Absolutely, yeah. And the thing is, when I saw Drifters for the first time, when I watched it, it just sonically was so loud, you know, as a silent film, it just all of a sudden, just this whole world of sound came flooding in. And I just thought, this is it, you know, this, it, like, there's no going back now. And then when I started researching John Grierson, that kind of really blew me away, you know, just in terms of his role and, you know, for the man who coined the phrase documentary. Yeah, you know, yeah. it was, it was, and I'm glad, but I'm glad I didn't know all that stuff at the beginning, because I would have been absolutely <laughs> petrified. Thank you so much for coming, Lovely. and congratulations. Nice one, thanks, Mark. Thank Cheers. You.